Today on the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Carhartt R41. Insulated, bib overall, with a zipper to the hip. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to know how to buy a pair of bib overalls, please check out this video here. This is my guide to fitting Carhartt bibs video. In here, I'll talk about measuring yourselves and how just to get the bib to be a proper fit for you. Let's talk about the Carhartt R41. Now, Carhartt is known for making extremely durable winter clothes, and their bib overalls are no exception to that. The R01, the R02, the R03, the R33, and now the R41. Well, the first three numbers, the R01, the R02, and the R03, are the older models, where they only zip to the knee. So it was kind of a pain in the butt to get them on. Though the insulation was great, though the fit was great, getting them on and off before work and after work was always a pain in the ass. And you The strong points about the leg of the R41 is this zipper. This zipper goes all the way from the ankle all the way to the hip. And that makes putting a pair of these on so much easier. You don't have to take off your 1,000 gram insulated winter boots. You don't have to unlace your 10 inch boots in order to put your bibs on anymore. At the bottom of the leg on the R41, what Carhartt added was a piece of Cordura. Because through R&D, they learn that this is the one spot where you get the creeping water on those wet, miserable days. That the back of the bib is gonna drag in the water, so they added all nylon back here. There's no cotton. From this seam to the zipper, it's all thousand of deer Cordura nylon. So it's going to be durable, it's going to be tough, and it's going to be really hard to get this wet and start creeping into the cotton sections. From the hip all the way down to the shin bone, it's double knee, just like the logger jeans that everybody loves from Carhartt, the B01s, the double knee logger jeans with the rivets in them and all that stuff. Well, they have the same thing on the R41. They add this double piece of duck material right up there from the hip all the way down to the shin bone, and they leave a clean out on the bottom. Now, this clean out can be used for many things. What I see a lot of guys do is roll up padding, whether it be yoga mat, whether it be just some EVA padding, carpet foam, and they add it up inside there, and they have a nice knee pad section here. Now, every pocket on a pair of Carhartt R41s is gonna have a rivet at the top and the bottom of the seam. And when you think about what you see out there in those cheap bib overalls, this is a really nice touch. This adds a level of class and style to a really classic product. On each leg, you'll find a hammer loop and a side pocket that's on the left and the right leg. Now to the top of the bib, the bib portion. And this is where Carhartt has really excelled when they've developed the R41. Just look at that pocket configuration. That whole top part up there is one big pocket and it has a zipper closure. Now, I've taken these pockets and I've tried every single big cell phone that I've seen come past. The iPhone 6 Plus, the Nexus 6P, the Note 4, the S7s, all those big phones, they slide right in here without a problem. And it's not like it's a tight fit. It goes right in, it comes right out, and it closes. So your phone is gonna be closer to you. Now these two pockets right here, these button pockets, well, they're about the size of a pack of smoke, so you know that you're gonna be able to keep your cigarettes right up top if you're still smoking, if you haven't moved over to a vaporizer. And this side, knife, multi-tool, whatever, it fits perfectly. If it's got a clip, it sits in there nice. If you gotta carry a flashlight, it's a nice place to keep it. And you see they still keep the eyelid there for the pencil. Nice touch, guys. Now the hardware that Carhartt uses to keep these things secure to you is their own hardware. And at first, it's a pain in the ass. This is some of the most difficult stuff to work with. But once you start using it and you start playing with Carhartt more and more, putting these two pieces together just becomes second nature. Now inside the R41, they used the red insulation. And this is probably the perfect 
type of insulation for a pair of bibs for the Midwest, for Chicago, for anywhere like that. Anywhere where it's going to be cold and you're moving around a lot, the R41 insulation is going to be ideal for you. Now, if you have to sit in an unheated cold machine in the middle of January, don't look for the R41. You want to move into like Carhartt Extremes. If that's your job, if you have to sit in a machine and sit there for hours where you are creating no body heat, the R41, even with thermal underwear, is probably not going to be enough for you. You're probably going to get cold. You need something that's closer to a sleeping bag. You need a Carhartt Extreme. Now like all Carhartt garments, they come water resistant. There is a coating on these things that is going to repel water. And if you had to ask me about caring for an R41, I would say do not wash them until you get something that's so stinky and so bad on it that you've got to wash it. If they get a little muddy, if they get a little dirty, let them dry off and just brush it off. The longer you can avoid washing a pair of Carhartt bibs, the better off they're going to be and the longer they're going to last you. Now, if you should get some mud in the zipper, remember you got to clean that out. You got to keep your zippers clean. If you want your bibs to last you, if you want this to be something that you go to for five, for six years, then you want to keep your zippers clean. And at the end of the season, heck, take them to the dry cleaners. Let them re scotch guard it for you. Let them dry clean them. Let them do what they do in order to have this almost in a pristine condition for the next season. So that's the Carhartt R41 insulated bib overall with the zip to the hip. Hey, if you've ever worn the Carhartt R41, please comment below. Let guys know about your experiences with this garment. Hey, if you want to know more about the R41, swing by the bootguy.com. There I'll have a size scale, a few links, and everything else you might want to know about the bib. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're about to buy a pair, if you have any questions about sizing or fitting, please remember that you can always contact me. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.